Hello and welcome to Writing Mastery with Jessica Brody. These videos feature tips, tools, and techniques to take your writing and your writing career to the next level. In this video, I'm going to share with you my four hacks or tricks for winning NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month. Here we go. Everyone who knows me knows I'm all about the hacks. Get the most done in the least amount of time. Life hacks, writing hacks, productivity hacks, I've got them all. In fact, when people ask me how I'm able to write four books a year, I have one word for them, hacks. And so I've decided to apply my hacking skills to my favorite writing event of the year, NaNoWriMo. Because let's face it, when you write four books a year, that's over 300,000 words annually, every day of your life is pretty much a NaNoWriMo. So here are some hacks that I use to write 50,000 words in one month. Number one, don't look back and don't edit. Yes, it's hard. Yes, your inner perfectionist will always want to peek back at what you wrote yesterday and start tinkering around with it. Resist. NaNoWriMo is all about forward momentum, which means you can't look back, you can't edit, you have to keep your inner perfectionist bound and gagged in the closet. Yes, your writing is going to be bad, like really bad. But guess what? That's not your problem. That's future you's problem. Future you is the author who suddenly appears and sits down in your chair on December 1st. And future you is amazing at editing crappy writing. It's their only job. Your job is to write as many words as you can in 30 days. So you do your job and let future you do their job. Number two, keep an ongoing list of edits and revisions. I know what you're thinking after tip number one, but what if I come up with something brilliant that happens earlier in the novel? Can't I just go back really quickly and change it? No, because essentially changing means deleting and deleting means fewer words. And then you're moving backward instead of forward. But of course you don't want to forget that brilliant idea. So keep an active list of changes and revisions that you want to make on hand at all times, either in a Word document, notebook, Evernote, or a list making app. I like Trello, I'll link to it below. Write down all your brilliant ideas for the things you want to change. Then, once you've finished the messy, crappy first draft of the novel on November 30th, then Future You has a nice, tidy to-do list ready for them to use. Trust me, Future You loves nice, tidy to-do lists. Number three, use bullet points to get through tricky scenes. Okay, so not all scenes or chapters come to us fully formed with witty dialogue, striking metaphors, beautiful prose, and perfect structure. Wouldn't that be nice? Sometimes, especially when we're racing to finish a 50,000 word novel in 30 days, scenes or ideas come to us in chunky, choppy bits and pieces. A dialogue exchange here, a nice description there, a sentence or two about how the character is feeling, etc. In order to keep your momentum going and not let these tricky scenes slow you down, I recommend using bullet points to get your ideas down quickly. For instance, you could quickly draft out a scene that looks like this. Jenny gets in the car. Reese stares out the window, not saying anything. Jenny wants to talk to him, but doesn't know what to say. They both sit in silence. Reese finally talks about something else, like the weather, the road conditions, something else. Jenny knows something is going on, but is it really her job to bring it up? Reese says, do you want to stop for food? The thought of food makes Jenny want to vomit. Jenny says, I'm not hungry. And then, after you've got your bullet points, you simply keep going. The idea is down on paper. You won't forget it. Now you can move on and keep the forward momentum going. And finally, my number four hack for winning NaNoWriMo, outline the key beats of your story before you start writing. The best way to stay on track writing a novel in 30 days is to, you know, actually have a track to stay on. My best advice is to start with an outline, not a full 200 page outline with every chapter laid out. Start with the key story beats. These are the same beats found in every great story ever told. Like the catalyst, the thing that pushes your character into action. The break into two, what your character decides to do about the catalyst. The midpoint, the twist or turning point that sends the story in a new direction. And the all is lost, the lowest point of your novel that will eventually motivate your character to change. I use the save the cat plotting method to outline all of my novels, but regardless of what you use, laying out the key story beats before you start writing will help keep you on track, on target, and motivated to write every single day. If you want to find out more about the save the cat method and read examples of the key story beats found in popular novels, be sure to download my free save the cat starter kit using the link in the description below, or check out my book, save the cat writes a novel, which you can also find a link to below. 
Best of luck, Rymos. Write like the wind. I believe in you. You can do it. See you next time. And until then, happy writing.